hello you're welcome to this lesson in this video you are going to solve this question i have on the screen the question says we should find the current in the 8 ohms resistor using nothing's theorem so let's look at how we are going to solve this question okay so to apply nothing's theorem we will have to take out the 8 ohms resistor from the circuit from the circuit then we find the current that will be flowing through that branch where the 8 ohms was connected so if you look at this circuit that i have here we don't have the 8 ohms here okay and what you have to find will be the current that will be flowing through where the 8 ohms resistor was and then that current will be the nothing's current so let's look at how you are going to find the value of what this current okay so from this circuit what will happen is that the current coming from this voltage source here will pass through these two ohms okay and then when it gets to this node okay what will happen is that because there is no resistor here okay and then there is a resistor here the current will take this direction okay and then when it takes that direction and it gets here there is no resistor here but there is a resistor here and then the current doesn't want to be opposed so it will take this direction again and then when it gets here same thing will happen there is a resistor here there is none here so it will choose the path of zero resistance so it will go this way so you see that at the end all these resistors okay uh, let me indicate it at the end these four ohms this is ohms this is ohm this 10 ohm this 20 ohms and then this 10 ohms will all be short circuited right so to calculate for the current in the circuit you are going to have uh, the 200 volts okay to be equal to the two ohms multiplying nothing's current right and i'll divide both sides by two i'll divide both sides by two and then we are going to get nothing's current to be equal to 100 amperes okay so this would be nothing's current so now that we know nothing's current we'll have to find nothing's resistance so that you can use that to find the current in the 8 ohms resistor so let's look at how you are going to do that okay so you know nothing's current okay to be equal to 100 amperes okay so let's take note of that okay so now to find nothing's resistance okay you know that you have to take out the 8 ohms right and then we are going to have nothing's resistance be measured from the terminals okay and then there is a voltage source in it so you have to short circuit the voltage source so you don't need the voltage source i'll short circuit it okay so if i short circuit the voltage so that means that there's no voltage source here so this will be the circuit now so let's look at how you are going to find nothing's resistance so looking at this connection that you have here you see that for this uh connection at this part of the circuit you can't tell which of the resistors are in series or are in parallel okay so what i'll do is that i'm going to use a delta star transformation okay so i'll change this uh connection here to a star connection and then i'll help us to find the nothing's resistance so let's look at how you're going to do that so for this delta connection here okay i'm going to redraw the connection there so let's look at how i'm going to do that so i will i'll clean it and then redraw the connection so that we can see the delta connection clearly okay all right so we're going to have something like this okay Okay, so this is what you are going to have so let me draw the resistor okay so you see that you have a delta connection here okay it is the same but but i just chose to draw it this way so that uh, you rather see it uh, much more clearer so i have 10 ohms here 
and then I have another 10 ohms here okay so you have to change this connection to a star connection okay so let's look at how we are going to do that okay so I have 20 ohms here okay so changing this to a star connection you're going to have something like this okay so you're going to have this here and then i'll name this as my ra and then i'll name this as my rb and then this will be my rc okay so our goal here is to find ra rb and then rc okay so in finding ra in finding ra you're going to have uh you're going to have ra okay to be equal to 10 times 10 okay divided by 10 plus 10 plus 20 okay so let's simplify that and see what you are going to get we're going to have 10 times 10 divided by 40 that gives us a value of 5 over 2 which is the same as 2.5 ohms right so let's find rb also so rb will be equal to 20 times 10. that'll be 20 times 10 divided by 10 plus 10 plus 20 10 plus 10 plus 20 okay so let's simplify this and see what you're going to get so this also gives me a value of 5 ohms okay now you'll we'll find rc rc will also be 10 times 20 okay divided by 10 plus 10 plus 20 and then that will also give us 5 ohms right so now let's change the connection from a delta to a star connection so i'm going to clean the delta connections okay i'm going to clean the delta connections Okay, so you don't have the delta connections anymore. So this is RC. Okay, right. So let's look at what will happen. So now with this connection that we have here, you see that RB will be in series with this is ohms, and then RC will also be uh, in series with this is ohms, right? Okay, let me clean this 20 ohms here. Okay, so from there we can sum them up right so you are going to have uh, rb plus the six ohms okay so that will be five plus six and then this will give us 11 ohms right 11 ohms okay and then you are going to have rc plus the six ohms and then that also give us 11 ohms you are going to have 11 ohms right and then we have our a day okay so at the end the two 11 ohms will be in parallel right so you're going to have 11 parallel 11 okay and then they will both be in series with r a so you're going to add r a which is what 2.5 okay so let's go ahead and do that you're going to have 11 times 11 divided by 11 plus 11 okay plus 2.5 right so let's do that and see what will happen so you're going to have uh, 11 times 11 divided by 11 plus 11 plus 2.5 that gives us a value of 8 ohms right so we are done with this middle part here we are done with this middle part here okay you got 8 ohms for that side so that 8 ohms, okay, will be in parallel with this 4, and then it will be in parallel with what? With these 2, okay. But what I'll do is that I will tackle the 2 ohms and then the 4 ohms which are in parallel first because before I come and consider all of them being in parallel with the 8, okay. So you're going to have something like this, 2 parallel 4, okay. 2 parallel 4, parallel 8, right. So you're going to have 2 times 4 divided by, 2 plus 4 okay and then that will be in parallel with the 8 ohms right so you are going to have um 
2 times 4 divided by 6, which will be 4 over 3, okay, parallel 8, right? So you are going to have 4 over 3 times 8, okay, divided by 4 over 3 plus 8, right? So let's simplify this. 4 over 3 times 8 will give us a value of 32 on 3, right? So this divided by 4 over 3 plus 8, that gives us 28 on 3, right? So we're going to have 32 on 3 times 3 on 28. This 3 will cancel out this, and you're going to have 32 on 28. And 32 on 28 will give us a value of 8 over 7 ohms, right? So that will be Norton's resistance. Now you can draw Norton's equivalent um, circuit and then find a current in the 8 ohms resistance. So let's look at how you're going to do this. So I will draw Norton's equivalent circuit. So this is Norton's current, which we got to be 100 amperes. And then this is the 8 on 7 ohms. And then this is the 8 ohms. So now you want to find the current frame to the 8 ohms, which I name as I1. Okay. So you can use the current division rule to do this. And you are going to get I1 to be equal to. Okay. So you have I1 to be equal to 100 times 8 on 7, right? Same, right? 8 divided by 7. Okay. All divided by 8 divided by 7 plus 8, right? So let's simplify this. We are going to have a. Uh, 8 on 7 okay divided by 8 on 7 plus 8 that will give us a value of 1 over 8 so we're going to have 100 multiplying 1 over 8 okay let's see what you're going to get for that and then that will give us a value of 25 on 2 which will be the same as 12.5 so you're going to have i1 which is the current frame to the 8 ohm to be 12.5 amperes